Good morning, Ashworth. I'm Jenna Baker, and my co anchor is Maddie Schmitz. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Williams News. Now we ask everyone to please stand re and recite our United States Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will observe a moment of silence. Good morning, Ashworth. This is Jenna Baker with a few words of wisdom. Do these words sound familiar? Here, there comes a time when we must heed a certain call. It's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. These words come from the famous song, We Are the World. It raises an interesting qu question. How do we lend a hand to life? We can literally use our hands to do things that, make, that encourage life, support life, and affirm life. We can use our hands to create a garden or to feed someone. We can use our hands to create a beautiful painting or an inspiring story. We can use our hands to pick up litter. We can use our hands to give someone a pat on the back. Today, notice what you do with your hands. Look for ways to use your hands in positive, healthy, life-affirming ways. With something to think about, this is Jenna Baker. Make it a great day, or not, the choice is yours. The lunch for today, Friday, March 1st, is a chicken parmesan, a chicken parmesan, corn dog, garlic toast, sweet potato waffle fries, broccoli florets with ranch, sidekick, apple salt, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. The word of the day is idyllic. What does it mean? Very happy, peaceful, or enjoyable. Here's today's quote from the book called 365 Days of Wonder, inspired by the book and major motion picture Wonder. What you do every day matters more than what you do every once in a while. Our 7th grade teachers are selling bracelets and magnets to support AMS 7th grader Jacob Bowman. You can show your support by purchasing a bracelet for only $2 and a magnet for 4 all donations will benefit Jacob's family. See any 7th grade teacher to purchase one today. This week's 8th grade shout out goes to Brianna Thompson. She is always willing to be a leader. She takes in initiative and cleans, sets things up, and leads groups. She was nominated by Miss Ashley. Way to go, Brianna. This week's 7th grade shout out goes to Rudy Lopez Mendoza Ray. In social studies and homeroom, Rudy is always willing to help and contribute so much to helping our classroom stay clean. He is always respectful and kind too, says Miss Massingale. Thanks, Rudy. This week's sixth grade shout out goes to Raven Walker. She's a friend to everyone and always goes out, out of her way to make people feel special. Raven was nominated by Miss McKnight. Great job, Raven. Save the date for these upcoming FCA huddle meetings for a time of games, prizes, prayer, and testimonies. The seventh grade huddle will meet Friday, March 1st at 8 a.m. in the gym. The eighth grade huddle meeting will meet Friday, March 22nd at 8 at 8 a.m. in the gym. The AMS baseball team will compete against Eastbrook at home on Monday, March 4th at 4.30 p.m. Next, they will take on Christian Heritage at home on Wednesday, March 6th at 4.30 p.m. Attention 8th graders, if you are interested in being in color guard at Gordon Central next school year, see Mr. Johnson in the band room for more information. You may be wondering, what is color guard? Known also as a sport of the arts, color guard is the use of flags, sabers, rifles, and other equipment, as well as dance and other interpretive movement. We use these equipments and movements in order to enhance the visual effect of a show. Typically, color guard often occurs between the summer and fall months, with most guards performing alongside their school's marching band with live music and a field show on a football field. On the flip side, winter guard occurs between the winter and spring months, it is often performed in a gym to played back music, and it is a standalone activity separate from the band. Many color guards perform for fun at rallies, football games, and parades. But many also compete competitively, participating in competitions, tournaments, and field shows. Should you join color guard? Yes. If you want a team-based sport that challenges you both mentally and physically, lifelong friendships, fun competitions, and lasting memories, then color guard is the sport for you. The AMS soccer team will compete against CUSA at home on Monday, March 4th at 4.30 p.m. And they will travel to compete against Darlington on Wednesday, March 6th at 4.30 p.m. There will be an FFA meeting on Wednesday, March 6th from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. in Mrs. Wyatt's room. National School Breakfast Week is March 4th through the 8th. This year's theme is Surf's Up with School Breakfast. We will have some awesome food, uh, awesome food chart. 
We'll have some awesome food choices, a photo booth, and other fun stuff that week. We are celebrating the importance of nutritious, of a nutritious school breakfast and fueling students for success and giving kids a great start every day. Save the date for the first track meet of the season coming up Wednesday, March 12th at 4.15 p.m. We will be competing against Armarchie and Eastbrook. Hey Warriors, make those memories last with a copy of the 2023-24 AMS yearbook. You can order one for $40. You may place your order at www.yearbookordercenter.com. With the AMS school order code 10368. The AMS Spring Musical Bye Bye Birdie will be here before you know it. Performances will be Friday, March 22nd at 6 p.m., Sunday, March 24th at 3 p.m., and Monday, March 25th at 6 p.m. at the Gordon Central Blue Box Theater. Make sure to make plans to see our AMS students to perform in this awesome show. Hey, Warrior family. We've got spirit. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about you? Wear your school colors and show your pride in the Warrior Tribe every Friday because Fridays are spirit days. Guess what day it is? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We want to wish these warriors. We want to wish these awesome warriors a very happy birthday. No birthdays today, but the following students will celebrate their birthdays over the weekend. Kylie Hollingsworth will have birthdays on Saturday, March second. Abigail Rodriguez, Rayleigh Berg, and Elizabeth Demain have birthdays on Sunday, March third. Our mission is to positively impact the lives of our students and community daily. Our vision is to continuously pursue excellence and rigor through results-based innovation and meaningful collaboration as we equip students for success in high school and beyond. That's all we have for now. Ashworth Middle School, have a great day and go Warriors!